Millions of years ago, Earth was ruled by the fearsome creatures known only as dinosaurs. These ancient reptiles dominated the planet's landscapes and seas, reigning as the undisputed masters of their time. Their immense size, unparalleled adaptability, and their rapacious hunger made them the ultimate apex predators. But even before the age of dinosaurs, another creature ruled the prehistoric seas, and its terror surpassed even that of the mightiest dinosaurs. Known as the Megalodon, this enormous prehistoric shark is believed to have lived approximately 23 million years ago, before its extinction 3.6 million years ago. Estimated to grow from 19 feet up to 80 feet in length, making it the largest fish that ever lived, the Megalodon was the true apex predator of its time. Equipped with an immense bite force and massive razor sharp teeth, each the size of a human head. But what if I told you this deep sea colossal beast could still be around today, lurking deep within our oceans, just out of sight, waiting for its next meal to foolishly swim too close. I'm Aiden, and with the Meg 2 coming out today, there's no better time to take a plunge into the top 5 disturbing pieces of Megalodon evidence that proves it could return. Coming in at number 5 is the first ever Megalodon sighting. The year was 1918, when a group of crayfish men set out on their routine fishing expedition at Port Stephens, Australia. Little did they know that their tranquil days at sea would be disrupted by the appearance of an unimaginable behemoth, a mammoth shark, so vast and powerful, emerging from the depths, creating waves of panic among the seasoned fishermen. As the gigantic shark prowled the waters, it effortlessly took entire crayfish pots, all four feet in diameter, each containing multiple hefty crustaceans, along with the mooring lines that secured them. Describing the immense creature, the men were unanimous that this was a shark unlike anything they had ever witnessed before. The fishermen, well acquainted with the ocean and its many dangers, were rendered speechless by the sight. Such was the magnitude of their awe and terror that their estimations of the creature's size ranged between 100 and 300 feet. When questioned if they were exaggerating their estimates, the seamen stuck to their claims, saying that the fish was about the size of a nearby wharf, which was about 120 feet long. With no shark on the entire planet being known to reach such sizes, that leaves the only possibility to be, you guessed it, a megalodon. But hold on, didn't I say megalodons usually don't get bigger than 80 feet? Well, I did, but the megalodon could reach such a size through something called abyssal gigantism, a zoological term for the tendency of deep sea creatures to be much larger than their shallower water counterparts. They grow to such sizes due to the colder temperatures, scarcity of food, and increased dissolved oxygen concentrations in the deep sea. Meaning, a deep sea megalodon reaching such colossal sizes remains plausible. After the sighting, similar reports in the area began popping up, and thusly, fishermen would begin avoiding Port Stephens out of fear of the hungry giant. Next up at number 4 is the vastness of the ocean. Naysayers are quick to say that the Megalodon went extinct 3.6 million years ago during the Ice Age. And with such a big gap in time between their supposed extinction and their first encounter with humanity, it makes sense to assume it's gone. However, it may have been alive this entire time. The primary argument for the potential survival of Megalodon lies in the sheer size and expanse of the world's oceans. Despite numerous advances in marine exploration, only a fraction of the ocean has been thoroughly studied and mapped. In fact, we know so little about the ocean that we know more about the ever-growing depths of space than we do the sea. Scientists estimate that over 80% of the ocean remains completely unexplored, with some areas reaching depths of over 36,000 feet. These deep and remote regions are largely inaccessible to humans, leaving ample space for enigmatic creatures to conceal themselves. In addition to the unexplored deep ocean, the migratory habits of marine animals contribute to the possibility of the megalodon's existence. Some large oceanic species, like whales and giant squid, are known to traverse vast distances across the ocean without interacting much at all with human populations. This migratory behavior opens the door to the idea that the megalodon could similarly roam far and wide, only occasionally crossing paths with human observation. On top of this, there is simply very little actually known about the megalodon. Fossil record of the massive shark is not entirely comprehensive, with the most we could find of them being their massive teeth. There could be gaps or missing data that may conceal the existence of the megalodon, or its direct descendants. Paleontologists acknowledge that the fossilization process is rare in certain habitats and are less likely to preserve remains, especially in the deep sea, which leaves the possibility of unexplored regions 
regions where megalodon fossils may be waiting to be discovered. And this isn't a crazy theory, it's happened before. Living fossils or species that only had fossil records only to be discovered alive famously include the coelacanth fish. The fish was thought to have gone extinct 65 million years ago, but two species of the 350 million year old fish were discovered living in the sea just off the African coast. With more data on megalodon fossils, we could gain crucial clues to why it disappeared and why it's back. What do you guys think? Could the megalodon be hiding right under our noses? Comment your thoughts down below. And at number 3 is Deep Blue. For all you Shark Week fans watching, you may have already heard of the world famous Deep Blue, a massive great white shark discovered in 2014 off the coast of Guadalupe Island in Mexico. Although never officially measured, zoologists estimate that the fish is over 25 feet in size, a size thought to be impossible for a great white to reach, and that's because it's no great white. Deep blue far exceeds the natural sizes of a great white shark, with the biggest ones reaching 16 feet, a 10 foot difference from the shark in question. Its proportions lend itself much more to that of a younger megalodon, which usually would be around the same size as deep blue. If you've ever seen footage of the shark, you would probably be quick to doubt that it's a megalodon, due to its friendly nature around humans. But later on, researchers noticed the shark going for prey much larger than usual great white prey, such as blue whales and a variety of full grown sharks, which reach impressive sizes on their own. An eating habit that could only belong to the megalodon, which is thought to aim for larger prey due to its gargantuan size. Using an array of different trackers, the team found that Deep Blue actually spends most of its time at depths much deeper than any other shark, reinforcing the theory that it is related to the prehistoric king of the ocean. Deep Blue's monstrous size, big appetite, and preference for the abyss all act as big shiny red arrows that point to the conclusion that it is a megalodon. Let's just count our blessings, it's friendly. 100 years after our first encounter is another one, taking number two. Further confirming its existence, this megalodon encounter was not nearly as pleasant as the one with Deep Blue. During a recent shark research trip, researchers were left astonished when their sea scanners picked up an enigmatic, massive 50 foot shape resembling a megalodon underneath their boat. The researchers expressed their amazement at the shape that appeared on their fish finder for several minutes during their expedition in undisclosed waters. Estimating the length of the image, they proclaimed that the meg could be approximately 50 feet long, weighing an astonishing 40 tons. Immediately, the researchers took a screenshot of the fish finder, which depicted a large mark, resembling a giant shark complete with a distinctive dorsal fin, and sent it to colleagues back on land to share their discovery. However, things took a turn for the worst, when communications with the team was suddenly cut. Numerous attempts were made to reconnect with the researchers, but were all unsuccessful. At this point, excitement quickly turned to fear, and a rescue team was sent to their last known location, only to pick up the pieces of a boat that once was, torn to pieces by what we can only assume to be the semi-trailer sized predator, the Megalodon. Further adding to the intrigue, reports have surfaced about another image captured on Google Earth, supposedly showing a giant shark spotted in proximity to the location of the research expedition, making these the first real images of a Megalodon to ever reach the public eye. This terrifying encounter with a megalodon only speaks to the very real danger that lies within the depths of Earth's many oceans. Suffice to say, you're going to need more than just a life vest when coming across the prehistoric monster. Topping it all off at number one is the Black Demon. The legend of El Demonio Negro, probably pronounced that wrong, the Black Demon Shark of Cortez has persisted for generations in the waters off Baja California, Mexico igniting speculations and curiosity about the potential existence of a giant fearsome shark. The tales of the black demon describe a massive shark reaching lengths of 60 feet or more and thought to weigh up to 100,000 pounds. Its skin is said to be as black as midnight with hauntingly dark eyes that strike sheer terror into the hearts of those who encounter it. Witnesses recount ghastly encounters where the black demon overturns boats, attacks whales, and devours entire groups of sea lions with a single bite. The creature is believed to possess a long, whip-like tail that churns the waves at the surface, leaving a trail of mystery and terror in its wake. Legends of this beast have been passed down through generations in Mexico, with reported attacks on whales and half-eaten carcasses washing ashore in the region spanning decades. While these incidents could potentially be attributed to other marine predators, the sheer size and ferocity of the black demon's alleged attacks align with what would be expected from a creature as massive and powerful as the megalodon. And since the Gulf of California is completely remote and carries lots of deep water, it fits the bill for definite megalodon. Sightings of the shark are rare, but some theorize they 
go back as far as the 1500s, making the Black Demon the first true human encounter with a Megalodon. English sea merchant John Hawkins was known for his 700 ton ship, gifted to him by Queen Elizabeth I so that he could more efficiently complete his trade exploits, and was eventually given the title of Admiral. In 1567, Hawkins embarked on a voyage from West Africa to what is now known as the Mexican state of Veracruz. While in the waters, his crew encountered a massive flesh-eating fish, the likes of which they'd never seen before. The massive fish, curious, attacked their boat, but thankfully its massive size and weight made it quite formidable, and Hawkins and crew were able to make it to their destination. While not much else is known of this encounter, it solidifies the Megalodon's place deep within human history, proving its existence. With our large, unexplored oceans and our encounters with the gigantic shark, it's safe to say that the Megalodon might not be nearly as extinct as many would tell you. If there's anything you should take away from this video, it's that shark invested waters are no joke, especially when that shark is the size of a school bus. But hey, we got some pretty cool movies out of it. Now, I know you guys are probably loving this video and stuff, but like all good things, it must come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, maybe hit the bell, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.